Emery insists he's having conversations with all those in his squad who aren't getting regular game time, including Mesut Ozil. The Talk Sport Clips of the Week. Yeah, Clips of the Week time. And they are quite Alan heavy today. You yes. never guess it was the Christmas party mm. season, would you? Mm. And here he is on breakfast, uh, making uh, one of his upcoming guests feel really special. Still to come, we're going to speak to comedian actor Romesh Ranger Nathan, I think. Uh, sorry, Romesh. <laughs> well, you got it right. Yeah, only the busiest comedian do, in Britain. Didn't do too bad, actually, <laughs> as the man once said about the Greek uh, guy. He um, did actually get it right, that's true. He did. That's Sorry, Romesh. Yeah, and we're not happy with Beaky at the moment after Sags revealed that he's been doing that thing you should never do at this time of year. Yeah. Graham Beecroft with the very latest on that one by somehow just managed to get his presence felt there. Don't do that, Beaky. It's four more <laughs> sleeps, mate. Surely you can wait. Don't start feeling the presence. It's, it's going to ruin the surprise. It does. And, and stand with Beaky. Yeah. Yeah, here he is at Anfield last Sunday. Which might win this game for Manchester United. They've pressed hard early on. They're going hammer and tongues at Liverpool. <laughs> Dirty boy. <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's not good, is it? No. Uh, Fisherman's Blues now. And Nigel was joined by a top fishing guest. A, co a quorum consultant is Di Gribble, and he's on the line now, and it's also his birthday, so I'll have to say happy birthday, Di. <laughs> happy birthday, <laughs> Di. He could have made it shorter, couldn't he? He could have just gone, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> well, like he's from right. Birmingham or something. That's what I would have done. Okay. Um, so back <laughs> it's to only got an hour. <laughs> yeah, you've got to go, like, yeah, just say happy birthday. <laughs> I would have saved him all of a millisecond. <laughs> uh, back to Big Alan. Uh, channeling is in a Chris Eubank. And you realise just how how brave both horse and rider was. So Absolutely. real thrill to see that. Real no, to a see proper that. brave horse. Altior. <laughs> a brave horse. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's next, Andy? Uh, now, the listener who suggested this clip said, here's Georgie Bingham, Bingham rather, laughing like a zebra or a zebra. The one is Chris Bleach. Him and his wife just found out the toaster has a crumb tray. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'd never heard a zebra Me laugh, neither. did you? No. Nope. Possibly in Madagascar, that wouldn't be the same. So uh, we thought we would uh, find out. What does a zebra laugh sound like? <laughs> you can, yeah, it is well, quite on. similar. Well yeah, done. We, we can hear it. It's not quite as hysterical, of course, Georgie's, but you wouldn't expect no. it to be. It's a cross between Georgie's and the Mooses, I'd say. It, it is. What a hybrid that is. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, stick in with Weekend Breakfast. We were surprised to hear Georgie's co-host, Tony Cascarino, say this. For as long as I've ever played football. I started playing professionally at 81. Yeah. Blimey. Really? Only age well, Cass. <laughs> yes. I think he has. He's got to be about 130 now on that boat. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well done to Cass. That's brilliant, yeah. Uh, time now for the Talk Sport Core of the Week to the Sports Bar. Uh, let's speak to Darren. He's a Liverpool fan. Hi, Darren. Hello, mate. Hi, Daz. Off you go. Ah, oh, sweet. Right. Talk Sport. Caller of the Week. Yeah, drink had been taken, Possibly, apparently. yes. Uh, and we thought Sam Matterface was a touch overcritical of us when he sat in for Jim White earlier this week. Paul and Andy coming up with uh, Hawksby and Jacobs after one o'clock this afternoon. Do you think they structured their transfer business right in the summer? Well, we brought a new yeah, producer in. Did, I mean, yeah. it wasn't cheap, but, you know, you can't, you, it wasn't exactly I, I, who we I wanted. I did think of going on a Bosman, but, you know, yeah, there were well, no takers. There, were, there, was, there was very little interest. We hawked you around the different radio stations, didn't we? But there was no, your wages were stupid. Yeah, I know. So what's next, Andy? It's the Moose at Spurs versus Burnley. Spurs nil, Burnley nil. My grandmother, my late grandmother, who used to have a very good phrase, Adrian, takes two to tango. Mm. Not just your grandmother, I think. Yeah, I think, you know, with, with respect, it, I think it, she, other people may have got this. She just picked up. No, you weren't claiming it was her own work, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, Alan's back with three pronunciations of the same word. Chance to take on Robert and tomorrow's show, where you could win a fantastic uh, Boss all-in-one sound system. A Bose. Is it Bose or Boss? Bose. A uh, Bose all-in-one sound system. <laughs> <laughs> Having established it's Bose, yeah. why has he suddenly gone to Idaho? <laughs> Bosey. <laughs> so, uh, and we're calling this one, Daniel Levy, you're off the hook. Yeah. They've agreed to sell a 27% share to CVC Capital Partners, but they insist that they won't be removing a salary cap that's in place. Which is a shame, because so many of those rugby players, I mean, they, they, they need their vegetables, don't they? Um, Carl Hartley there, the newsreader, with the salary cap. Uh, back to Fisherman's Blues, and Nigel had a festive inquiry. My big question today is, 
have you done your Christmas shopping yet? I certainly haven't, so I'm going to have to get my acting gear this week. What's acting gear? Is it like props? <laughs> yeah. sort of false beards and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that? I've never seen it. Smoking jacket. I'm going to get in some acting gear. <laughs> yeah. That's right, it'll look good. So, uh, here's Georgie again, introducing a guest. The 12.30 kick-off between Manchester City and Everton. Uh, the former Everton skipper, Alan Scubbs. Alan Scubbs, yeah. or Scubsy, yeah. uh, as he was known in the dressing room. Uh, so we move on. Uh, this is uh, Mickey Gray uh, discussing Manchester United. Their time's probably probably done at Man United. If you look at people like Chris Smallen, who's been just been offered a New Year contract. Yeah, but maybe they might cancel it on <laughs> January, the January the 2nd if he has a bad oh, Christmas a contract. Yeah, the old, one the old day. New Year contract. I'm surprised his agent signed it, really. <laughs> one more from Alan again. Here talking cricket. Yeah. Uh, guys that we don't read about all the time uh, do get these awards as well. But look, you know, I'm not, I'm not decrying Al- Alistair mm. Crook. I'm not saying he shouldn't have it. No way. Well, you are decrying. Just call him a crook. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point, Andy. Yeah, yeah. And for me, he's a, not a crook. Um, and finally, yes, it is uh, Stuart Pearce having an argument with himself. I think there's a lot of people in this profession. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. That, that's uh, it's wrong. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well done. Pick yourself up on it. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's wrong. Well, I would say it's like that Tommy Cooper thing where he's wearing half the clothes. Yeah. Tonight, can you go out there and just focus on the job at hand? I think it's almost week on week that Pochettino is connected with someone <laughs> in a quiet news week. <laughs> Let's ask Pochettino <laughs> about <think>? Real Madrid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me while I just clear my throat. Okay. <clears throat> Builders yesterday. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Accidentally chopped down a 170-year-old redwood tree. Oh, no, that's, that's not a, good, is it? Where was this? Uh, where was it, exactly? Somewhere in England. Actually, you don't accidentally do <clears> that. <throat> well, it's quite tricky.